Have you ever heard of the cities of Nidaros, Björgren and Christiania? What if I tell you that these are the three biggest cities in Norway? Well, of course, you might guess what we're talking about here. These are historical names, names that are not in use anymore, but they were in the past. And if you are a little bit familiar with Norwegian language history, then you know that there has been something like a Norwegian language fight or Norwegian language battle because Norway was a part of Denmark for a very long time and Danish was the official language. And when this union finished in 1814, Norway tried to re establish uh, its own language and the result was among others that there are now two official ways of writing the Norwegian language. One of them, Bukmol, fortunately is very dominant. 85 to 90 percent of the population use it now so that's the variation that's usually taught. Also in my Norwegian course we use Bukmol. But the fight of the language and of the Norwegianization of the official language was not just about grammar and spelling rules but it was also about place names. So many places Places had different names in old times and Norwegians in the late 19th century, early 20th century tried to re-establish these old names. So let's start with Nidaros. Nidaros is an old uh, Norse name and it comes from the word Os which means mouth of a river and Nid which is the river that uh, comes to the sea where today is the city of Trondheim. So Nidaros is the old name of Trondheim but for some odd reason even during the Middle Ages the name Trondheim was more and more in use. Where does it come from? Well, it comes from the population, the people around Trondheim in this area, they're called Trönnet. Um, we don't really know exactly why, there are a few weird theories, we don't need to go into detail here, but um, um, Heim, so the home of the Trönnet people, and for some odd reason uh, the name of the region became also used as the name of the city. So for a long time it was used in parallel and as Danish uh, time it became more common actually to use Trondheim and it was even Danish, how do you say, Danishized, Danishized, um, the name was well, made Danish. The people in Denmark would write Trondheim instead of Trondheim and that was the name of the city for many many centuries until actually the early 20th century when people said hmm we don't want a real Danish name for a Norwegian city which has a huge cathedral, the oldest uh, religious site, uh, most important religious site in the country. Um, why don't we go back to the old name Nidaros? Well this were really only the language enthusiasts who wanted this. The population of Trondheim uh, was strictly against that. 92% of the population voted against it in a referendum but the parliament in Oslo didn't care and said that's a good idea we're going to change the name to Nidaros and people were furious. There were 20,000 people in the street and at that time the parliament in Oslo understood that maybe that was a little bit of a mistake. After all, Norway was already a democracy back then so uh, they said okay, okay, maybe we should not uh, push Nidaros through. And then there was a smart merchant in the city who said you know what, let's do a compromise. Instead of Trondheim, we will go back to the old Trondheim, which is a little bit more Norwegian. So the people who want to get rid of reminiscence of the Danish time, they get something for their side and the citizens of the city who want to keep the name while well, it's just a tiny spelling change so they are also happy with it. So in 1930 the city changed its name officially to Trondheim but still today many people of the local population also in northern Norway use the expression Trondheim instead of Trondheim. But the big cathedral in the city center still has the name Nidaros. Björkvin is maybe the city that you can guess quite easily because it sounds a little bit like Bergen, doesn't it? And it is. Björkvin is the old name of Bergen. Uh, it's an old Norse word. Also Björk means Berg, which is a Germanic name for mountain. Uh, Wien has nothing to do with wine. Climate change hasn't come that far that there is Norwegian wine and back then in the Middle Ages definitely there was no Norwegian wine. It means actually something like green meadows. So the green meadows between the mountains which describes the city quite well. Uh, the problem was just that Björkvin was not very easy to pronounce for foreigners and in the 13th, 14th century many merchants from the south, especially from German-speaking countries arrived and they didn't understand this name very well and they gave it a bit of a weird Germanized version which is 
But again, that sounded familiar to them, was easier to pronounce. And throughout the centuries, this name became more common, uh, especially also, of course, again, uh, under the Danish rule. But then when Norway became independent, the language enthusiasts or the language purists, they tried to re-establish the name Björkvin. And we can see it appear uh, unofficially from around the 1860s, but it was never really a big uh, discussion to make it an official name until also the 19th 20s, maybe because the diocese changed its name officially in 1918 to Björgen So there they established the old name again. And so in the 1920s, uh, language enthusiasts tried to push for the name Björgen. But the protests in Björgen or Bergen were even harsher than in Trondheim. 25,000 people took to the streets. It was the biggest protest in Bergen ever. So you see Norwegians, they don't go in the street because the gas is getting more expensive or because wages are cut down. They go to the street when you want to change the spelling of the language. Um, that's the only time when you might have a revolution in, in Norway. So after this, and maybe also because the project failed in Trondheim, they abandoned this idea. So Björgvin today is just a historical name and is not used anymore. The city's official name remains Bergen. And Christiania? Well, Christiania is actually the only city where there has been a change of the name in New York Times. Uh, Christiania is the old name of Oslo, or to be more precise, Oslo is the really old name. So here the story is a little bit different. The name Oslo appears already about a thousand years ago and we don't really know what exactly it means. Some people had the theory that it also has something to do with os, like mouth mouth of a river, uh, just like in Nidaros, and mouth of the river Lu or Lun or something like that. The problem is just there is no river with such a name in the region, so we cannot find that name in all documents. So probably the theory is nonsense and we don't really know what exactly it means, but it was the name of the city uh, for a long time. And city, by the way, is quite exaggerated because in the Middle Ages, Bergen was the important city. Bergen was the capital of the city before Norway became Danish. Bergen was the center of international trade. Uh, Oslo was just an insignificant provincial town. But in 1624, Oslo burned down completely and the the Danish king, remember it was part of Denmark, uh, the Danish king Christian IV decided to rebuild the whole city and um, as a means of expressing gratitude the city was renamed to Christiania. This was uh, of course a bit of a weird situation to have a city named after a Danish king when Norway became independent of Denmark and on top of that Oslo or Christiania as it was called uh, became the capital of Norway. So people said hmm, we can't really keep it like this. They tried also with the Norwegianization so from the 1870s you can read Christiania with a K. Sometimes by the way you can even read Xania, or I don't know how to pronounce this correctly even, uh, but the X is an old symbol for Christ, so Christ and Anya makes Christiania. Um, anyway, in the 1920s, uh, when the city had the 300th anniversary of burning down, they said enough honor for Christian IV, 300 years of Christiania. Now we're going back to the old name Oslo. And that's really happened. So from the 1st of January 1925, the city uh, is called Oslo again. So if you read an old novel or old magazines or any old documents from before the 1920s, you will always read the name Christiania. By the way, Oslo is not pronounced Oslo at all. It's pronounced Oslo or Oslo. Um, if you want to learn more about pronunciation, you can do this on, on this channel channel here or of course also in my Norwegian course if you're interested in learning Norwegian from scratch. Um, but anyway Oslo is the official name of the city now. What is a little bit ironic is that the main street of Oslo, uh, Karl Johansgate, is named after a Swedish king because from 1814 until 1905, Norway was part of Sweden. The king of Sweden was also part of, king of Norway. So for some reason, they decided not to keep the name of the city with the Danish king, but to keep the name of the main street that leads up to the royal palace that has the name of a Swedish king. Well, to be precise, he was not Swedish, he was French. But that's a long story. You can see that Scandinavian history can be quite complicated.